Shalom, dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, and a warm welcome to another sharing of Into the Word. Let us listen to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophet. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I, in truth, I tell you, till heaven and earth disappears, not one dot, not one little stroke is to disappear from the law until all its purpose is achieved. Therefore, anyone who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the person who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, we will witness Jesus' attitude. Yes, attitude. Just like us, Jesus had his attitude in this gospel which revolves in two areas the Jewish law and God's plan for us and the world Jesus attitude towards the Jewish law was fundamentally positive however he makes it explicit that he has come to fulfill and complete the law. Emphasizing the internal, he removes the focus from mere external. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 4 to 11, St. Paul teaches and explains that Christians are not covered, nor dwarf of man, nor worm. He is a person full of confidence. Confronted by his adversaries, he presents himself as a person sure and confident of himself. The confidence does not come from within, it comes from God. In the Gospel today, Jesus speaks of the need to put our complete confidence in God, our complete trust in God. He makes it once again very clear by saying that he has come to complete and fulfill the law and not to abolish. Thus, he is also here to fulfill God's plan for us, for you and for me and for the world. Let us be bright lamps, putting our confidence, our complete confidence and trust in God, just like St. Paul did, so that we too can become great in the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us by the working of the Holy Spirit to completely trust in God and to completely have our confidence in God as we face these challenging days and times of the pandemic. Mother Mary, we ask you to intercede for us 
and to obtain for us many more of God's graces through your Son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we also ask you to continuously bless us with your choices of favours and blessings in our day-to-day -day life. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless and stay completely confident in God.